subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Leela Bakore tutorial. In the previous part, we talked about all the general characteristic features of amphibia. Now we will take some important examples. The first example is Rana Tigrina. This is the common Indian frog. All the general characteristics are uh, seen in frogs also, but there are some special things. For example, the skin, because they respire through skin also, the skin is moist and glandular. They are mucous glands and it is kept moist so that respiration can take place and it is also vascular. There is rich supply of blood vessels. Then they show sexual dimorphism. The males have vocal sacs. In the lower region where the normally neck region comes, but frogs don't have neck, but in that region there are vocal sacs. So during a reproductive season, the males, they make voices and this sac-like structure, it swells. And this is to attract the females. The second thing is the males have nuptial pads. Now where these pads are present and how they help that we will take up in a minute. Now frogs have four limbs two four limbs when we say four limbs that is f o u r four limbs out of which two are front four limbs and four sorry two are hind limbs the four limbs have four digits and if we draw this the digits are going to be like this these are the four digits and this is the first finger or digit just beneath this on the ventral side these nuptial pads are present this helps the male frog to hold the female during copulation so that the males and the females they release the gametes at the same time so that fertilization can take place the hind limbs there are five digits so it is going to be like this and between these digits are present folds of skin which are called the webs and these webs help them swim. Frogs also show metachromasis or metachrome. Metachrome or metachromasis is a colorful adaptation that means they blend with the surrounding so they show this metachrome so these are some important things other things that they have cloaca they are diurnal and carnivorous these are some uh, unique features to frogs let us take another example that is bufo Bufo, that is, which we call the toads. Toads are very much similar to frogs, but there are some differences. Like, one, they are larger than the frog, but they are nocturnal. They are also carnivorous. Their skin is dry, warty, and without glands. without glands because they are normally terrestrial they don't need that moist skin but they have one gland which is present just behind the tympanum now this gland is known as parotoid gland or sometimes it is also written as paratoid gland 
This gland is just behind the tympanum and it secretes bufo or bufo toxins which are a defense mechanism. So this is to defend themselves. There are toxic substances which are produced. Another difference is that the digits have horny tip. So if this is the digit, there would be some horny structure like this. And the digits are without webs. So webs are absent in case of toes. The third example is salamander. And amongst this, we talk about the tiger salamander. Which is, its scientific name is embryo, sorry, embryostoma. The most important thing about salamander is, one, they are a monotelic, even when they are adults. When we were talking about the general characters, we said that in amphibians, the larvae are aquatic and that is why they are a monotelic. But salamander in, in its adult stage also is a monotelic. And second is, their larva is exolotal larva and it shows neoteny. Neoteny is also known as pedogenesis. Neoteny or pedogenesis means that, uh, that the larva can start reproducing as it has all the sex organs developed. So this is larva reproduces which is again a very unique thing for salamander or tiger salamander. The next example is ichthyophis, which is limbless amphibian. The important part is that the female takes care of the eggs. So eggs are monitored, taken care of by the female. We will take one more example that is, it is called Altus or Elitus. In this, the male takes care of the eggs. We can take one more example, I can write it here. The sixth example, that is of Pipa. It is known as Surinam Toad. The important thing is that the female lays fertilized eggs. Female lays fertilized eggs in marsupium. There is a, a pouch like structure or a fold of skin in which these fertilized eggs are laid and then from that pouch itself the larvae or the tadpoles would come out. So this is pipa or which is commonly known as the Surinam toad. One more example is Necturus which is commonly known as mud puppy. And the unique feature of mud puppy is gills in adult stage. So even the adults have gills. So these are some interesting examples of the class amphibia. So this takes care of our general characteristic features of amphibia as well as some important examples. Now in the next part, we'll take up the next class.